guys, um, I'm in a very awesome mood for some reason, and nothing out of the ordinary happened. I just randomly started listening to music, and I'm all, I'm in like a awesome mood. I'm in the best mood I've been in years, like not years, like I'm in the best mood I've been in about a month. Like that's pretty good. So let's drink some soda. That's some good soda right there. I want to do more videos so bad. But I feel like there's nothing to post about. Like, guys, frick, I dropped my phone yesterday and look, now it's even more broken. <laughs> Funny. And the processing system doesn't really work anymore. Let's check it out, shall we? Let's see what's on trending. Top 10 trending. Um, yeah, it's, you know, weird. So, guys, we have my trusty FNAF flashlight to kill off the demons, which are Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and Fred Bear, Gold Bear, Dog, Golden Freddy! Ay, 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 that's a weird, I've, I wonder what, I miss the good old days when, uh, when, uh, when po Pokemon, not Pokemon, sorry, I just read something and, um, uh, God, uh, but, but I miss it when Poke, God darn it, I miss it when Five Nights at Freddy's was new, like, when it, like, maybe, like, the first couple months it came out, like, I remember one, okay, I remember one day just calling my cousin and being like, hey, dude, have you heard of this new game, Five Nights at Freddy's, she was like, yeah, I was just about to ask you that, so it was like, from that moment on, FNAF has been, like, awesome, like, since the day I've heard of it, which was, like, maybe a couple days after it came out, it became a big part of, like, a big part of my life. I used to, I loved it. It was, like, awesome. I remember, um, I, I started talking about FNAF when it first came out. And then, I started playing it when the second game came out. Because, you know, I didn't want, I didn't want to buy it. So that way I had a demo to play. And it was actually really fun. And I played it on vacation. I played it way more. I think I played FNAF 2. FNAF more than... Like, God, I played that thing so. F I don't freaking know what I'm saying! I don't even know what I'm talking about! Ah! Guys, FNAF is awesome. We all love Five Nights at Freddy's. I've literally known about it since maybe the second day it was out. And ever since that day, been the awesome thing. Like, best thing ever. Since the first day I found FNAF, I was, like, watching a video about someone doing it. And I was like, oh, man, Foxy's my favorite character already. Freaking four years later, or four, yeah, about four years later, still my favorite character. Funtime Freddy is my second now. I keep going back to it. Like, it was, like, Funtime Freddy for, like, the last month. And then I keep going back to it because Fox is my favorite character, you know. It's the original ever since it came out. My favorite character. I, um... I would love for Scott Cawthon to create a, um, a FNAF game where it's just all the Foxies, like, just only Foxy. Like, every, like, all the generations from all the games, from, like, all of it, oh, that would be awesome. Or maybe some fan can do it, like a fan game, that would be awesome, too. Because he's my favorite character. I really hate the fact that, um, that, never mind. Um, so yeah, guys. I just wanna make this video cause I could and I wanted to. Right now I'm listening to some weird music right here. Um so yeah. I'm just very in a good mood, don't know why. Probably because I've been listening to FNAF music and stuff and that's what gets me into good moods. If I'm ever like let's say if I'm ever sad and then the like just like huh why <laughs> Life then just, I just, put, put, I just, get on the chair, put these things on, boom, put some music on, and I'm happy. It's amazing. Guys, FNAF is awesome. We love Five Nights at Freddy's. And I'm pretty, I'm, I feel, under, it's like, oh, wow. But my cousin's not that big of a fan of it anymore. I don't know why. I mean, I kind of got out, out of it for like, like maybe a year, and then I started getting back into it. I've never not liked FNAF. I've always loved Five Nights at Freddy's. 
I used to think I it actually used to make me I don't okay guys when I would play this uh, the first one and like read and like play the second one you know read the books and stuff it actually made me feel like oh man this is like really depressing and I didn't I don't know and it was weird I used to think the FNAF books were depressing and the second game I don't know why but it's fine now I love those things like I can just read everything and just watch I was. And find that the Freddy's better not die because it's I. They're talking about I maybe make that. Just, freaking custom night isn't better not be the last game. I mean I know Scott's working on the movie I think, but I want more FNAF games. I just love it too much for it to die. It's such a good thing. The first game came out, it got really popular. Then he was like, oh man, this is really good. I should I should make a sequel. He made a sequel. He made a third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. So, like, really, dude? Like, that's a lot of games. I and mean, he made more. He even made, uh, I think there's, like, seven FNAF games. Holy frick. Make more. I want millions. Make, like, ten. Ten, twenty, thirty, fifty million. I don't know. Make as many as you can. I know they take a long time to make. Oh, make a 3D one. Scott Cawthon, if you're watching this, make a 3D uh, FNAF game where you, like, actually walk around and stuff. Like, kind of like in Sister Location where you, like, you can walk around, but only, like, it's a whole, like, a whole free roam game. Like, you can just move, do anything. And the, um, yeah, it would be, like, a remake of the first one, but only in, like, all, oh, like, 3D where you can move around and stuff. It's, like, free roaming. Oh, that would be so awesome. And it's, like, graphics are, like, realistic. Like, get GTA graphics or something. And that would be awesome. Get Xbox graphics. Uh, take, uh, things out of Xbox. I'm watching some, st I don't know what I'm watching. I was just, before I listened to music, and all of a sudden... I flip into the channels, and the remote does. Speaking of remote, where did I put it? How oh, I dropped it. And it's uh, Live PD's on, and I hate this show. No, I don't think it's called Live PD. It's just called Hash. That's, I don't know. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this vid. Leave a like, leave a comment, and a subscribe while you're here. And I just want to make this video to tell you I'm happy. And also, FNAF, we all love you. Don't die on us. Come on. It's been four years. I mean, I mean, I know people are kind of getting, like, dude, really, the first game was good. Okay, the second one, too. Okay, did you have to make a third one? Or maybe a fourth one, fifth one, sixth one, seven on in. I mean, I like the games. I, I, I would be happy if he, if, if I'm, like, 30-something years old, would it be cool if I was the next Scott, like, Scott Cawthon, actually, one day? Uh, I was just walking in, like, let's say in a mall or something. Boom! Scott Cawthon came out of nowhere and just be like, Hey, uh, you can take over the FNAF franchise. Okay, bye. Disappears. Uh, what the frick? Dude, no! And then I have a contract or something to sign. And I am the now, I own FNAF. And I can do whatever I want with it. So I can just, like, create all these games. Like, I can create, like, a, a Flash game, for God's sake. No one wants a FNAF Flash game. I can make a freaking horror game. I want to make some horror games. Games. Well, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Love you all. Adios. Ladioses. Stay golden. Freddy.